Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Blue. We're back. Um, first of all, in the game, as you can see, um, that's it's a new update for me. I've been playing for, I think, a little over two weeks now. Um, and what this video is going to be about is we're going to take a look at the Feral Druid changes. I may be late to the party. I honestly have not been keeping up with Feral. Um, as you can see now, I'm not even playing my Feral um, since I got back. Jumped on him really quickly to see if I had any anima and I could try to get some cash out of the um, whatever the table is, and then I just jumped on, um, jumped on the monk. Um, so that's kind of how we're going to go about this video. I did go through and take a quick peek, um, at the talent changes. And honestly, my initial thoughts is I went halfway down and I'm like, ah, this is dumb. And, uh, it looked pretty bad. Uh, and then I was just going to leave it and not care about it. But then I was like, ah, <laughs> I owe the channel <laughs> better than that. Um, so we're going to go through it together and you're basically going to get um, my reactions of how I feel. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, I'm not going to care about the feral. We're just going to, or the general, we're going to go right down the feral talent tree. Um, so we do have Tiger's Fury. Great. Um, for the first part, I'm going to go in a single target. And that's what I did the first time where I was like, went halfway down this tree and I was a little bit disappointed. Um, AOE does look good, but let's go ahead and single target so you can get my thoughts. So single target orientated, we got this new thing, Protective Grove, your regrowth protects you, reducing all damage you take by 3% while regrowth is on you. This is awesome. Um, I think this is probably a must for um, Raid because it's dope, but uh, we'll see as we get down the tree if it's even something viable, right? The way Blood Talents is, you don't really care to be regrowthing, um, but it's kind of a natural thing. Okay, Omen of Clarity. Um... And Moment of Clarity deals 15% damage. This is looking, um, and then Cat Eye here. Okay, so this is buffing some of our other abilities that we're going to opt into later. Okay, this is good. Primal Wrath is single target. I don't care, so we're not going to go into that. Um, Pouncing Strikes. While Stealth Raked all will also stun the target for 4 seconds and deal 60% increased damage. While Stealth Shred deals 60% increased damage um, and does an additional critical strike. Okay, um, so this one, obviously... Rake, we don't care about as far as raid. Shred, maybe baked later into the talent trees. So let's see what's below this. Our crit chance is increased. So this is going to be a must. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab that. We'll just grab crit chance. Um, so we'll go down because I'm basically stopped right here because I don't really care about Primal Wrath. We'll look at this later. Um, improved bleeds. <laughs> okay, improved bleeds, but it says shred, brutal slash, and swipe does increase damage per target bleeding. So I guess that's a good name, um, but that's extra damage right there. Very good. Tyros energy, ener maximum energy increased by 30. Um, haste increased by 2%. Okay, the haste is pretty cool. Um, that's that's probably okay. First Spite deals 20 increased damage and increases all damage dealt by rip by 4% per combo point spent for 4 seconds. Okay, this is really great. Um, we're getting our big bite damage, um, but we're also baking in um a change to our rip right instead of buffing the rip they're going to bake this in which is going to increase that rip damage um really great um so basically where do we go through here like do let's check if i you know this is this is okay this is pretty good but let's see if there's anything single target that i really want to put in here sin of blood um that's a no-no enemies hit by thrash reduces the cost of swipe by three energy for the yeah um predator okay um no and then um, doubled claw rake. Rake also applies damage to one additional nearby target. Okay, that's a no-no. So we're going to go right here, and we unlocked everything. Okay, great. We'll go ahead and grab Berserk. What does this do? Um, refunds uh, two talent points. Okay, so already we're getting um, damages that were stealthed. So we, we already benefit from this pouncing strike. Okay, and then what? what's this? Moment of clarity. Um, okay. Great. Now what's this? Dreadful bleeding rip damage is increased by 15%. Okay, this works really well with um, one of these things here that's increasing our... I already lost it. <clears throat> it's our bite, right? Right. Increases our bleeds. Okay, and then right under is our rip damage. Okay, great, great. Um, let's go ahead and follow this. Finishing moves have 20% chance per combo point to make your next um, regrowth or entangling roots free instant cast. Um, we don't really care about this. Yeah, this is a quality a quality um, spell. I like it. As far as raid is concerned, do we really care? 
no. And the reason we don't care is because uh, Blood Towns, but who knows? Blood Towns could be changed. I really didn't even make myself Blood Towns. When you use three different combo point generating abilities with from four seconds to damage your next two rips or fresh by is increased. Okay, so we, we have the old Blood Towns. So do I care about this? No, this sucks, right? Let's be honest. So let's let's keep the single target focused here. Finishing moves have 5% chance per combo point sent to make your next rake, shred, deal damage or yourself. Mm, that's that's pretty minimal damage, right? We got a Berserk that's doing it. Oh, and then it also says combo point generating abilities bleed the target. Okay, so this is baked in stealth and it's baked in uh, Berserker Frenzy. Okay, interesting. Uh, so this sucks. I mean, let's go ahead and see if maybe I get better benefit. This one sucks. This one sucks. Let's see if I get better benefit now by moving over to what appears to be AOE side, right? Uh, so Primal Wrath consumes up to four seconds of rip um, damage on um, targets it hits and deals 70% of its, it instantly. Um, okay, so this is really great. This is kind of give you some of that added effect of instantly casting Primal Wrath, right? In an AOE situation where it's just like, oh, sure, do I bite or a Primal Wrath again? Um, you the, the, the choice, depending on the mob size density, is probably going to be Primal Wrath again because um, it's going to it's going to consume those rips. Great. That's dope. Um, taste for blood. Ferocious bite deals 2% increased damage per bleed on your target. Okay, so this is a must, um, but this is obviously a no-no because what it seems here, infected wounds don't care. Ferocious bite <clears throat> hits all nearby enemies affected by your rip for 20% of the damage dealt. Um, damage boost. Oh, okay, this is really great. So it's going to bake in some diversity of like when to bite, when to primal wrath. That's really nice because we're changing up, you know, we don't want to just AOE situations fully primal wrath, which you're going to be getting here. Uh, but then when you unlock this, you're going to be like, okay, well now bite is decent. So that's great. Um, a big no-no here is taste of blood. Obviously, you're going to need taste of blood damage within your AOE side. Um, but right now, I'm, I'm basically stuck as far as single target here because these choices suck. And I really want this. So now I got to figure out how to get this in exchange for this, right? Um, but then everything else here um, basically sucks for single target. So this this needs a switch. I would even consider, um, and, and we're thinking about Mythic Plus for AOE, um, and just uh, this is Mythic Plus side, of course. Um, I would even say Predatory Swiftness. Probably a um, a better spell for Mythic Plus than it is Raid. Probably more mandatory. Not that regrowth and casting on yourself is, is more mandatory. Um, but usually in a Mythic Plus environment, you're more geared towards helping the team. And if healing and off-healing yourself is helping the team or healing another member, maybe I can just be a freaking Chad and I can off-heal my tank when I need or you know anybody else. Um, that's usually more of a priority and more of your thinking than in raid, right? Um, so I need to grab this. Um, we'll see where talent points allow me. So the cheapest way is taking Primal Wrath, which I'll never use in single target. Um, the cool them Tiger's Fury resets when you when a target dies and one of your bleeds affects active like Tiger Fury. Okay, so um, for myth for raid again, this is two talents I don't care about, but I do grab my Taste of Blood. Is it worth it? Mm, probably, but I mean it feels stupid um so now so now let's go do i want to go down here basically or do i want to continue down this aoe the single target path i would imagine i continue down single target path and this is where i stopped looking here okay so we got brutal slash um which is we would think our single target um and then um wild slashes swipe and thrash um damage is increased by 20 percent. oh great 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 because this is an aoe option great aoe looks amazing hopefully we see this but Brutal Slash looks crappy, and now to get this, I need to invest in Ferocious by hitting all enemies um, of your rip for 25. So again, single target, really bad, um, but that does look good. Let's see if I want to invest. What do I get with Berserk? Combo point generating abilities bleed the target. So this is very much single target right here. So I feel like I need to grab Berserk. Need to grab Brutal Slash. Need to grab survival instinct. Okay, great. So this unlocks this. What am I missing here? Each combo point spent reduces the cooldown of incarnation. Uh, pretty crappy for single target. Um, Raging Fury. Finishing moves extend the duration of Tiger's Fury by 0.4 seconds per combo point. Um, just reading that, that sounds a little bit more beneficial for your AOE situations. In AOE situations, we're going to be swiping mobs. We're going to get more advantage to a crit, hitting more mobs. Um, so generally... 
and your AOE, you're going through rotation much faster um, than in single target. But yet this is on the single target side. Um, yes, there's huge advantage to this, increasing your Tiger's Fury, but it's uh, it, it seems like it's in the wrong area. But let's keep on going. Maybe the other one's good. Frantic Momentum. Finishing moves have a 3% chance per combo point spent to grant 10% haste for 10 seconds. So we have a 15% chance on a full combo point move to grant 10% haste for 6 seconds. Obviously, that's going to be a mathematical one, but I think it's I think it sucks. I mean, uh, the choices here are pretty crappy. Obviously, your Tiger's Fury is not going to be up all the time, and then when you do use it, you know, hopefully you can get some type of extension. Um, you know, the haste would be dope to get, but it's very random. I think you skip that entirely if I want to go down that. Um, I don't even really entice to go down that because I'm not really care of this part of Berserk either. Let's see. Uh, crap. Dude, so Tiger's Fury damage is increased by 6%. That, this seems AoE too, which is great for both, but still not enticed to go down this side. Bite Force, Ferocious Bite and Rip Deal, 15% increased damage. <laughs> right, so now, now we're single targets right there. Blood Talons. Uh, um, it looks bad. It looks bad, you guys. I'm enticed to go down this. Maybe because of this. Again, in AoE, it's better but mostly because of Bite Force. Um, it sucks that Blood Talons is probably not going to be picked up. <sighs> Wait, the damage of your next two rips or Ferocious Bites is increased by 30%. So I guess Blood Talons would be prior to Force of Bite. Force Bite. But, I mean, it's very it's very dependent because we know Blood Talons in a single target scenario makes me AoE. One of my part of my rotation is going to be AoEing in a single target to get a better effect. We're talking about 30% increased damage on those bites versus 15. Um, so it's probably going to be worth it to Blood Talons. But it's, it just seems like Blood Talons really needs to be easier to use, okay, because it is such a primary unique thing for Feral that makes the rotation, right? I don't know if we can agree on that or not. Um, I do not like Blood Talons the way it's iterated. I love the Blood Talons where you can free cast regrowth, um, especially with this regrowth that makes it dope. Um, but it just, you need some type of change, rotational change, I think, to make the class interesting and unique. Um, and that was Blood Talons. Um, but, uh, I don't like using it. Um, and I think bite force is basically blood towns, but a dumber, dumber down way. Um, and then we got feral frenzy. So yes, we want, we want blood talons. I hate using it. And we want, um, our carnivorous instincts, I guess, for single target on this row. But again, I haven't checked out the other side. Um, so you need to invest quite a bit to get that. Um, but anyways, let's keep on looking. Tiger's Fury causes your next finishing moves to restore one combo point. That's that's pretty good for single target, right? Let's see what we have. Clear casting abilities generate 15% of the energy cost. Okay, at least I don't have to invest into it to get a clear thing. Vein Ripper, Rake, Rip, and Thrash last 25% longer. Oh, okay. Um, applying Rip to a target also applies a tear that deals damage, bleed damage for each combo point. <sighs> Applying rip to a target, and I might be out of feral, but this just seems... Applying rip to a target also applies a tear that deals damage for each additional combo point spent over six seconds. What the hell? Let me look up right here. Is anything extending my increased damage? Increases all damage dealt by rip by 4%. For So nothing's increasing my rip casts at all. I forget what used to, but nothing. It's the bite. Bite. I'm looking for the bite little image. Ferocious bite deals 4% increased damage for each bleed. So nothing's increasing our rip. So that's that's changed. And then instead, when we rip, our rips are buffed and have initial effect. Or I rip, rake, and thrash last 25% longer, and I only bite. Um, so one of these is single target. Okay, we'll just click Vein Ripper. Um, I don't care for this, Rip and Tear. I mean, it's it's interesting and it's new, and I'm glad that we have new things. Um, uh, but it's okay. I mean, I you know, I guess I, I guess I personally like just the bite and extending the bite. 
Um, but I respect this. I respect this, and we're going to click one of these because it's damage, single target. What's here? Um, rip damage has a 4% chance to make your next ferocious bite. Okay, this is obviously AoE, but this is single target. So I'm thinking, like, do I want to invest in single target, or I just want single target now? Uh, kind of just want single target now, right? So I guess... I guess this kind of correlates to extending my rake or extending my tiger fury. Okay, we're running into a part. Let's what are talent points. Oh, we're okay. We still got plenty. Um, so we'll grab that. We'll grab this. We'll grab one of these. What is? Does this change my berserk? An improved cat form grants all your berserk effects. Um, you can now shape shift in and out of cat form. Also, energy cost of all cat form abilities is reduced by 20%. And prow can be used. Okay, convoke, but is this buff my convoke? No. Okay, so we're picking one of these. Um, convoke's great, right? It's a nice, cool button to feel. Um, it may be competitive damage-wise with Incarnation, but we're clicking one of them. My bet is convoke. But does this, a call upon Night Fae for an eruption of a channel of 16 flurries, um, chance for an additional exceptional spell or ability is increased... You will cast Wild Growth, Swiftman, Regrowth, Rake, and Thrash on appropriate nearby, favoring your current Shapeshift Swarm. Okay, so this would be need to be tested if this is like the Enhance and not the BS Convoke. Um, but um, yeah, so maybe one of those. And then Ashman's Guidance, your melee attacks have a chance to activate Incarnation Avatar of Ashman for six seconds. Without the ability, Avatar Ashman for six seconds without the ability to enter stealth in combat. Or, okay, Convoke duration is reduced by 25%. Okay, okay, so this doesn't matter. You go one of, you either go this one and this one, or you go this one and this one. Okay, so I don't, I don't really care. Um, we have four extra talent points. <sighs> Do I invest? Do I invest to grab... I invest to grab these, right? Yeah, I have four. This is three. And that's four. Or I go one, two, three. Eh, it's a mess. I'm not even... Sure. I don't know. It's a mess. Hopefully, if anybody watches and cares, you guys can kind of see it's a mess. Okay, let's clear it out. Um, let's just go AoE here. I liked it. Oh, we didn't even get to grab this in single target. That's unfortunate, because this is a dope spell. It just sucks that regrowth is not part of our rotation. And that's even... Yeah, I didn't... That's a bummer. This is another... It's like, look, Blood Talons and Predatory Swiftness, they used to be baked together. This is a highlight to the class, okay? This is this is a dope thing for the class, I feel, and I don't even play the class anymore, so you don't you don't care what I think. But it's unfortunate. This is just gone now from Feral. Um so used to have that yeah, whatever, you don't you know you guys probably don't care. So whatever. I won't grab that. I wish I could grab that. Maybe we can. Um let's increase our crit. Let's just go down here. Sure. We're getting reduced energy. Cooldown of Tiger's Fury, great. Rake also applies to one additional target. Um great, that's gonna help. Okay, look, we're already getting down here. Ferocious Bite is good. We know that's great because Ferocious Bite, we can Ferocious Bite in AoE. We can AoE in AoE. Don't care about that. I'll grab my defensive because I want to be a, a smart player. Okay. Um, Berserk, your combo point is bleed. During Berserk, combo point generates abilities bleed the targets. Okay, so this is great in AoE. This is solid. AoE is looking solid, right? Okay. Um, we wild slashes here. Really loving AoE. Now, what do I want to grab here? Um, I want to grab increased rip damage because, yeah. And I want to grab this. Okay, grab. Versus by deals increased damage um, and increases all the damage dealt by rip. Okay, so we want to grab that. We're just going to go grab this so we can grab that rip damage really quick and unlock the tree. Tiger's Fury is great because we're resetting it. So, yes. Um, AoE. You know what? AoE is probably going to be be something like that. Is this AoE? Applying rip to the target? Mm. 
So that's not AoE, applying rip to the target. So now I wonder, does this affect primal, um, rip rake, and thrash lock longer? So does, does my vein ripper affect this? Because this eats up, right? Primal Wrath consumes up to four seconds of rip damage on targets. It hits and deals 7% for Oh, so this is only four seconds. Now, I haven't played Feral in a long time, so I don't know what it is. Um, I wonder if this Vein Ripper takes into effect. This would be really dope. Let's say I go Vein Rip, right? Rake rips last longer. So in my Primal AoEing, my Primals would last longer. Now, it would be very cool is once I lock into this, now this would change its change its notation and say, hey, instead of four seconds, it's like six seconds. And, um, you know, so now I get a six second takeaway. You know, I don't know if that makes sense or if that was clear, but that would be dope. Um, and it doesn't look like, like it will interact like that. It just means like you're going to have primals and you're only going to be reducing the primals of four seconds to do that damage. Um, but it'd be great. You know, I already, I already say that, whatever. Applying rip to the target also applies. Okay. So does this also affect for primal wrath? Let's say it does. And that would be great. We don't know. These should also, you know, be, we, we, we need testing to see if these affect primal wrath or not. And they might, they and if this, so if this affects Primal Wrath, great. Rip and Tear affects Primal Wrath, great AoE. Um, and we would want this to affect Primal Wrath to basically talenting into this changes this so that we can get more damage from open wounds and take more time off since the time's extended. That was probably a better way of stating it. Finishing moves, yeah. Um, circle of Like and Death, yeah. Also this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I'm done. Okay, that felt good. What am I missing out on? I'm missing out on regrowth nobody's taken this regrowth and that sucks that is a waste because this is a dope that's a dope talent nobody's taking predatory swiftness maybe maybe single target i don't remember if we took this energy um that's a bummer it's it sucks in in single target and aoe nobody's going over here and these are some really mandatory feral uniqueness that we're missing out on um Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think. This video is for you guys. Don't want to make it too long. Uh, just try to give you kind of my initial thoughts and speak through my thinking. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are um, taking it easy. Tell me if you're playing the class or not. Maybe you got some um, um, some mist weavers like me out there. Um, but either way, hope you guys are doing well. Bye.